we did it. We made it through another holiday season. Hope you had a great time. Good morning. Welcome to your morning cup of inspiration. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you took some time to relax, reflect about the true meaning of Christmas and the season, and it just wasn't all about the food and the gifts. I'm sure you did. My wife and I did the same thing. Uh, I think it was two nights ago, we watched The Nativity, that movie together. And if you haven't seen it, it's a great movie. And it really kind of focuses on Mary and Joseph and the commitment and the journey they had to take in this process of being the mother and father for Jesus, literally God. And it was something that really was thought provoking. And what, what I took out of it was the commitment that they, as just young, a young man, a young woman, had to make to make this happen. And hearing an angel speak to them obviously was very helpful, but they still had to be obedient to that voice, to the voice of God, and be willing to go through everything they went through. They were ostracized by their friends and family, and that wasn't easy. Of course, then they went to Bethlehem, <clears throat> birthed Jesus, and it wasn't long after that where Herod decided to go to Bethlehem and destroy all the children under two years old, trying to make sure he killed the king of kings, Jesus. So what happens, many of you know, Joseph heard uh, in a dream that he needed to get up immediately and go to Egypt. Well, we don't really think about that, but they had to literally go to a foreign country, just the three of them, not knowing when they'd come back, leaving friends, leaving family, leaving Joseph's job, leaving his home, everything they gave up because of that commitment to obey the Lord and to raise the Christ child in the way God wanted. So I want you to think about that today as we move into the new year. What is your commitment to hearing the voice of God? Are you willing to do anything to please the Lord, be obedient, and fulfill his call for your life? You know, Proverbs 16, 3 says, Commit your works unto the Lord, and your thoughts will be established. If we commit everything we have to the Lord, it will be so exciting to see what 2019 holds. So just like Mary and Joseph, they made the ultimate commitment for that child. I encourage you as we move into 2019 to make that same commitment to God and see what he does with our lives this year. God bless. Thanks for joining me for that morning cup of inspiration. And we'll see you next time.